Hello, I'm Taylor Smith. My address is 7 Glengarry Drive, Mendham, New Jersey, 07945. I started acting in middle school, and since then I have been in two musicals and four plays at my school, and in Drama Fest, my school's student-produced theater event. My training includes two years of middle school acting classes and four years of my high school's rigorous acting curriculum. I have participated in a musical theater program at Duke University, a Shakespeare program at Drew University, and the Yale Summer Conservatory for Actors. In freshman year, I won the Freshman Drama Award for being the most outstanding freshman theater student, and as a junior, I was selected to be one of two students to win the Drama Ensemble Award for promoting cast cohesiveness. One of my greatest strengths as an actress is improvisation. In addition, I sang in my school's chorus through sophomore year, I have 10 years of experience dancing jazz and ballet, and I did extensive set construction throughout all four years of high school. Today I'll be playing Cindy Stearns from the Gifted program by Ruben Carbajal and Helena from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. What in the hell do you think you're doing? Do you realize what you've done? In one day you've destroyed me. I'm a fucking laughing stock because of you. If you think I'm going to just sit on my hands while you fuck up my entire life, I mean, what in the hell were you thinking? I used to actually have the luxury of being a nobody. Do you realize that? When I first came to the school, I was invisible. I didn't even have the distinction of being a geek or a punker or a jock. No friends. I was a ghost. I used to sit around and wonder what was wrong with me. Saw all the popular kids and I wondered what they had, how they did it. I didn't have a clue. Then, my body changed. Just like that, I was suddenly, like, visible. I could feel the weight of people staring at me. I started getting phone calls. Boys. I was asked to try out for cheerleading. My tryouts stunk. They still let me in. All those people I secretly hated for so long were now my friends. And not because my personality was especially great, or I was smart or funny or talented, for no other reason than the fact that I had this body. There's no way, Paul. I can't see past the outside of you. Maybe that makes me a bad person. It probably does. There is no way in hell I'm going back to being invisible. You're sweet. Phil couldn't express himself the way you do. Not in a million years. He's too in love with himself. He's too stupid. Don't make this any harder, okay? You have to leave me alone. that we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours that we have spent when we have chid the hasty-footed time for parting us? Oh, is it all forgot? All school days friendship, childhood innocence? We, Hermia, like two <laughs> artificial gods, have with our needles created both one flower, both on one sampler, both sitting on one cushion, both warbling of one song, both in one key, as if our hands, our sides, voices, and minds had been incorporate. So we grow together, like to a double cherry, seeming parted, but yet an union in partition, two lovely berries molded on one stem. And will you rent our ancient love asunder, to join with men in scorning your poor friend? It is not friendly. Tis not maidenly. Our sex as well as I may chide you for it, though I alone do feel the injury. 